In 2042, there is an especially heinous weapon which can kill enemy infantry with a single bullet. A weapon so powerful, players have questioned its effectiveness as an anti-tank weapon. I jumped in to learn for myself whether this vicious weapon was truly effective. This weapon is known as the NTW. This is its story. In my anti-tank engineering guide, I got a lot of comments asking about the NTW-50 and its effectiveness against vehicles. Due to my quantity over quality approach I like to take with bullets in this game, I don't usually do snipers, so I was unable to give any sort of definitive answer on whether or not it's worth taking as an anti-tank weapon. So I decided to play around with the NTW with the hopes of unlocking the anti-material high powered rounds and see whether this weapon could be a viable solution to tanks in this game, and ultimately whether I would recommend running the NTW as an engineer over the amazing weapons to which I can equip an underbarrel AP launcher. When I first started using the NTW there was something... There was just something that I... Something that I immediately loved. This thing sounds amazing. I have to give credit to the sound team. If you weren't already sure that this thing is powerful from the look of it, the sound will totally convince you. Unlike other snipers in the game that require headshots in order to get one hit kills, you'll quickly notice that up to a pretty decent range, you're dropping bad guys with a single bullet no matter where you hit them. Up to 100 meters, this thing will drop anyone. After that, you'll be damaging them for 90, so you'll need a follow up shot. Considering my unique talent of being unable to hit anything while using a sniper scope in this game, I immediately threw a red dot sight on my NTW so I could trick my monkey brain into using this like a regular weapon. I started to find a lot more success. Even more, I was having a lot of fun. The NTW has this overwhelming risk versus reward factor, more than I think anything else in the game, where if you hit your shot, you're rewarded with an instant kill. However, if you miss, you're probably dead. Why is this, you might ask? Well, every time you shoot this gun, you have to manually load the next bullet into the chamber, which takes about 3 seconds. This will get you killed a lot. I found that I had this horrible habit of missing with my NTW, then quickly switching to my sidearm to try and salvage my terrible situation. Then, when I would switch back to the NTW, I would look like an idiot because I haven't chambered the round so the guy that I had lined perfectly in my sights would walk all over me because the gun wasn't ready to fire. Working around this weapon's time between shots is very frustrating, but it's a really good way to balance what would otherwise be an overpowered weapon. For this reason, you're going to want to put some thought into what sidearm you would like to use. I had lots of fun pairing this with the Super 500, which is arguably broken and honestly outperforms the shotgun primary weapons, which is just ridiculous. If you miss your shot, unless you have the enemy at long range and have cover, you're going to want to swap to your sidearm to try and finish them. At this point you might also notice that the regular rounds do a little bit of damage to vehicles, but to get the real experience everyone was talking about, I would need to unlock the anti-material high powered rounds, and after quite a few enjoyable games I finally unlocked them. Excited to finally unleash a new kind of anti-tank hell on the servers, I equipped this to my main ammo slot and jumped into a new round. I found my quarry, I lined up my shot. Are you kidding me? 5 damage? There's no way that's it. After playing with it more, I discovered that against armor, the increase in damage between these two round types is really not worth it. For one, you're losing an additional bullet in the magazine, but more so these rounds come with one major downside, something which I think makes them unusable. You lose your one shot potential against infantry. Compound this with the fact that you still have the 3 second long load time to your next shot, and they're garbage. Even if you're a god at getting headshots with your snipers, I wouldn't suggest this trade because the damage increase in the high powered rounds against armor is so minimal. Even using the M5 to soften up heavy armor first and then trying to finish it off with the NTW didn't yield positive results. Because the damage was so low that usually the enemy would get out and repair faster than I can put damage down. 
Well, what if we use the T menu to switch to the HP rounds only when we need them? Well, we could do that, except this beast takes 7 seconds to reload. And since you reload it into an empty barrel, you're also down a round. This was a really upsetting discovery. I really wanted another main weapon choice to run with Engineer class. And this one was so unique that I really wanted it to be good. But unfortunately, it seems to be a victim of nerfs. Compare this to the underbarrel AP launcher, which does more damage, you can fire your shots faster, and it doesn't hinder your main weapon's damage. Then the only thing that the NTW HP rounds do better is your ability to use them at long ranges. But at those kind of ranges, and with this little damage, you're not going to be able to kill them anyway. So finally, should you use the NTW 50? I think you should definitely try it. It's high risk versus reward style is very fun, and if you get good at it you can do a lot of damage. But you shouldn't plan on using this weapon to destroy vehicles. The high powered rounds might seem enticing, but they aren't worth losing the only good thing this weapon has going for it, the one shot kill potential. I would like to know why DICE even left the high powered rounds in the game in this state since they're so comparable to the damage with the regular rounds, but with this massive drawback. I feel like what they should have done with the high powered rounds instead is increase their time between shots from 3 seconds to maybe 4 or 5, leave their one shot potential against infantry, but reduce their kill range from 100 meters to maybe 60 or 70 meters, and then make their damage up close against all armor comparable to the damage of the underbarrel AP launchers. Damage which naturally falls off at range like regular bullet projectiles in Battlefield. Before you go I just want to give a shout out to another Battlefield YouTuber who in my opinion has been getting absolutely shafted by the algorithm, Timeless Gamer. He's been making some really good 2042 content that I honestly don't think is getting the recognition it deserves. If you're in the mood for more good interesting Battlefield content, definitely check him out. I've linked his channel in the description. Finally, let me know in the comments if you like the NTW or if this video has made you want to play around with it. And as always, please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care.